Now you would actress Rita Edochi took to social media to issue a warning in the wake of Gigi Oxton's recent online rant. But before we comment fully on the gist, welcome to Orange TV, a platform where we keep you updated on matters and trending gist happening in the world of social media. If you have not already, do subscribe to our YouTube page. Don't forget to like, share, the notification bell to get notified when next we drop a new video. To all our amazing returning subscribers, thank you for your love and consistency. And for all our viewers, feel relaxed, enjoy, and stay tuned. Nollywood actress took to social media to issue a warning in the wake of Judy Oxen's recent online rant. On her Instagram page, she expressed displeasure with the recent noise and warned those who is responsible to wake the sleeping dog. She wrote, The noise is becoming noisy. The madhouse should not wake up the sleeping dog. Where they anger for? It go bad though when the dog wake up. Not only Rita Edoche who is against Judy Oxen's post, even Uche Madagu. He went to social media, you know, to criticize Judy Oxen for defending Yole Doche grief process following the sudden demise of his first son, Campbell Echuku. Yole Doche lost his first son in March this year. And however, the tragedy event Yol was chastised on social media by numerous Nigerians who questioned the length of his mourning and his decision to return to work on social media so soon after the teenager's you know demise so in reaction to the criticism judy oxen you know did a video to defend her husband's right to mourn their son in his own way so she begged the public to respect their privacy during the terrible time and to refrain from passing judgment or dictating how they should grieve so she urged yelled critics to wait from commenting on the topic until they have experienced the heartbreak so chemada go on the other hand thought did the Austin where we were improper and disrespectful to your little ex-wife Miss and the bereaved family. So she accused Judy Austin of being insensitive for disrespecting Igbo tradition of grief and respect for the diseased child mother. In a video statement, so he expressed moral misgiving about Judy Austin contact with your little while he was married to someone else. So he insinuated that he, do the oxen need your deliverance? My people, while I know too much like this, which dog again? I be the one where she don't really wake since. I like, you know, Rita Edoche's energy. That is how a good mate can stand for each other. She always speaks the truth, and it's only the truth that can prevail finally. My question is Will the Austin action bring any peace to me, Edoche, or her children? Because she appears to be on Meidoche's side, but her action only brings strife for them, honestly. So guys, let me know what you think about this in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. And if this is your first time of watching my video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. And also, follow us on Facebook at Oranges TV. See you guys next time to like come your way again. And thank you so much for watching. Do stay blessed. You want to come and tell him how to mourn? Huh? You want to tell him how to behave? Wait till you lose your own, then show us how it's done. But until then, as long as you have not experienced that pain, please shut up. If you don't have anything good to say, just shut up. Because you don't know what he has been going through. Since last year, April, you don't know what he has he had to endure till today. You don't know. And he doesn't owe you that story. It is left for him and his God. But what you will do is to mind your business. Ukanu Arapo, he left home in the midst of pain, unbearable pain. And he had to go back to work. Because if not, no, who will pay his bills? Who will take care of his children? Who will pay his children's school fees? Who will feed them? Who will bring money? He's a man. He went back to work because he needed to go to work. But no, it's a problem for you people. You see, you see miserable people that have not controlled their own home coming to tell him why are you? Is it not just one month or two weeks or two days? How does it? How is it your business? How does it affect you personally? And then the next one, you see him trying to show strength. You see him looking for reasons to continue living. And then you come out to condemn it. Hey, you're not supposed to be laughing. Hey, that, if he wants me to, to dance till my legs break for him to feel happy, 
I will dance from now till 150 hours. I will do dance down Saturn. That is the modern Saturn. If he needs me to sing from here till next year for him to laugh and be happy, whatever he needs, he gets. Because you do not know what you would do if you are in that situation. So don't even, t don't, don't try to tell somebody else what to do. I'll bring headache in a group. It's not everything you put your mouth in. It's not everything you say. You don't know what is happening. You don't know what he sees in his house. You don't know what he's going, what he's going through, what he's enduring. That man napped on social media. How can you sit in your house and the way another person is living his life is, is, is busting your head? Why no more even more? Have you ever seen him tell you how to live your life? This man is a great man. Quote me anywhere in the world. Yule Doche is a great man. Born by a great man. He's a great man. And no amount of evil lies spreading around. No amount of deceit. No amount of manipulation by anyone will ever bring him down. Only be late. Come for me and I will come for you ten times. Come for Dogu, and I will come for you 1,000 times over. I'm waiting for any one of you. He has a right to mourn anyhow he wants. You cannot tell a man how to mourn, for goodness sake. Can I, who does that? For Christ's sake, who does that? You cannot tell a man how to mourn. I'm a, who born you? On your cable, who are you? Who are you to tell a man how to mourn? Anybody that has any opinion on it, on your cable to tell a man how to mourn. If he wakes up and the only thing he wants to do is to dance and post, he will dance and post. If he sleeps and wakes up and, and like, okay, today I want to talk and post, he will talk and post. Your own is to mind your business. If you feel like he's not mourning correctly, wait till you lose your own child. And then one, show us how to do it correctly. You cannot force it. Is it, is it because, you, what people want is for him to, you know, Stay like this, hey, I'm dying, you know, my son died. So you people will know that he's mourning. Oh, no, so that you people will know he's mourning. No, he will do it exactly how he wants to do it. Because he's, he's strong on the social media. Because he's strong, coming out strong. Do you people know what he goes through every day inside the house? A man that is taking care of his family, that has continued to take care of his Every bill every bill every down to the smallest thing you can ever think of he pays for it school fees feeding name it, even transportation from cases he takes care of it up until today